The House will come to order. Prayer by the chaplain. As we come together this morning, let us hear the words of John Quincy Adams, who said, if your actions inspire others to dream more, learn more, do more, and become more, you are truly a leader. Leadership, we all want good leadership. We vote hoping to elect it. We apply for jobs hoping to work for it. And we go to school hoping to be educated for it. And we place our trust in those we elect to serve. Before you today, society and the issues of the day are ever-changing. The number of issues and challenges to your legislative body is numerous, but you have been given a gift, chosen to represent the people of the great state of Minnesota. My prayer is that you may be given the gifts of wisdom and discernment to enable you to do your best and that our state may continue to be a leader among the nation. May you each be bold, courageous, and committed to your task. And finally, we thank you for the countless hours, the many meetings, numerous votes, discussions and debates on behalf of the people of the state and for your willingness to serve. Let this be so. The chaplain for today is Reverend Ralph Olson from St. Philip's Lutheran Church, Hastings, Minnesota. Pledge of Allegiance. Please remain standing and recite the Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. The clerk will take the roll.
The clerk will close the roll. <coughs> Quorum is present. The clerk will read the journal of the preceding day. Journal of the House, 89th session, 44th day, St. Paul, Minnesota, Wednesday, April 22nd, 2015. If there's no objection, further reading of the journal will be dispensed with and the journal will be approved as corrected by the Chief Clerk. Hearing no objection, the journal is approved as corrected by the Chief Clerk. Comparison reports. There are copies of this order of business on each member's desk. If there's no objection, the motions will prevail. Hearing no objection, the motions prevail and the substitutions will be made. Mr. Speaker. Representative Thiessen. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I'd like to uh, request a call of the House. Representative Thiessen moves for a call of the House. Seeing 10 hands, the clerk will take the roll.
The clerk will close the roll. The member from Hennepin, Representative Pepin. Mr. Speaker and members, I move we recess to the call of the chair approximately 15 minutes or so to allow for the Rules Committee to meet. Rules will meet immediately in room 112 of the Capitol. Representative Pepin moves for a recess for approximately 15 minutes to the call of the chair. All those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Those opposed, no. The motion prevails and the House stands in recess for approximately 15 minutes.